my darlings! Today, we're going to be checking out a Dead by Daylight Five Nights at Freddy's Concept Spotlight. I am really, really excited about this one. <laughs> alright, alright. I have been here since the very first FNAF game. I remember, my darlings. Markiplier and Jacksepticeye playing Five Nights at Freddy's. They got scared. I got scared. It was such a good time. I have such fond memories of that from when I was younger, my darlings. So the thing is, is that I'm very, very nostalgic for the FNAF franchise. And I would love to see it come to Dead by Daylight. But I, I digress. I digress. I'm getting too excited, my darlings. Let's just check this out and see what a FNAF plus Dead by Daylight combo experience would be like. Let's go. Welcome to Dead by Daylight. Witness the tragedy of realized and uncovered horrors of Five Nights at Freddy's within the realm of the entity. I'm excited already. Faz bears fright. The horror attraction was intended to capitalize on the foundation of decades of urban legends. A recreation of infamous Fred oh. Fazbear's pizza location. Places on fire! However, even after being burned down prematurely before its debut, the entity has brought this horrific reminder back from its ashes. The new killer is the attraction. Ah, oh, I love a that for him. I love that name. Crushed within the rotted spring lock suit has found new life. From pure agony alone, William Afton lives on to carry out his malicious intent, uh. with no spirits to impede his work. Ah! The attraction's power Inevitable. is Phantom Trespasser. The legacy of death William Afton crafted has not gone unnoticed by the entity, and neither of his methods of finding back doors and hidden places. Ah, uh, do you see him looking at can us? Itself into My a darlings. Form with trespasser mode. Appearing as an incomprehensible phantom with a looming presence that can be felt from nearly anywhere in the trial. Oh. While in trespasser mode, the attraction can sense the saturated suffering within survivors using desolate hope. While active, it allows them to see trails of saturated agony in the environment that are left behind by survivors. Oh. A byproduct of the endless trials they have endured and perished in. The attraction is also able to emerge from the state, screeching in a terrifying arrival to frighten any ah. nearby. Attacking as you emerge causes the attraction to launch himself forward with a devastating assault. Mm. Successfully hitting a survivor with this instantly places them into the dying state. This attack also allows any breakable oh. objects such as drop pallets, walls, or generators to immediately be destroyed. That'd be so the powerful, my darling. As a result, the attraction comes with three new perks. Instill fear into those who dare to wander too close to the curtain with. Backstage horrors. <laughs> Should a survivor see your aura, they scream and reveal their location for a few seconds Very before suffering from the oblivious ish, status effect for a limited time, haunting them with what they had witnessed and the trauma of such secrets. Getting away with murder was far more difficult before, but yes. now you have time to revel in it with grim celebration. After hooking a survivor by your hand, you gain the undetectable status effect for a short time. Nice! This duration is permanently oh. increased for each unique survivor you have hooked this match. They have only begun to scratch the surface of your motivations as you enact your cruel machinations. Cruel After machinations! A survivor, this perk remains active for a period of time. During that, any generators you damage are blocked by the entity. Preventing survivors from interfering with your work until the duration ends. I need that, my darlings. I need New that survivor, in my life. Michael Afton. <gasps> Michael Afton! Yay! Over the years, countless friends and family could tell the relation to his father. The similarities were nearly identical, and naturally, Michael was subservient to him until he came upon the terrifying extent of the murders uh -oh. by his hand. He had been hollowed out by a machine created by his father, Ooh. still living only through sheer luck and determination He's after been being scooped. invaded by an amalgamation of animatronics. After it left its decaying body, Michael eh. survived somehow, living in shadows and through constant suffering. Here though, Poor after guy. being taken by the entity, a cruel jest has been performed. The entity restored him to living flesh, only to be gutted over and over again. Look how to cool! Look how cool looks! These experiences allow him to be nearly unfazed and almost accustomed to dying, using it to his benefit as he uncovers further details about the new world around him and what resides in it. Ah, uh, get out of there! 
Michael comes with three new perks. Your exposure to death causes you to bounce back from terrible circumstances mm. fearlessly mm. Yes. moving on. Bounce back, After being bounce unhooked, back. unhooking yourself or recovering from the dying state, you briefly create no noise notifications for the killer from rushed actions <gasps> and cannot leave scratch marks. I love that! Familiarity with the sensations of suffering is not comforting, but you've discovered a benefit to it with hollow sensation. Mm. While injured, you gain the benefit of a small movement speed increase, which can nice. further be increased for each negative status effect you endure. Expose the secrets, form theories, and become a witness to truth. I don't know, wouldn't that Whenever last Whenever another be too survivor powerful? is injured by the killer with a non-basic attack, that killer's aura is revealed to you for a short time. You also <laughs> gain a token. <laughs> After being put into the dying state, you lose all of your tokens, but Aww. reveal the killer's aura for two seconds to all survivors for each token lost this way. Revealing the That's worth it, though. Uncover decades-old secrets and take center stage with the Five Nights at Freddy's chapter concept for Dead by Daylight. I love that! I love that! My darlings, I love it! Fast Bear Fright. Uh, hi, Foxy Darling. I'm kind of a little disappointed that the monster isn't Foxy just because that was always my favorite. But the thing is, Springtrap is a strong contender for this role, is all I'm saying, my darlings. So exciting! <gasps> Uh-oh. Who let in the clown? Who let in the freaking clown? All right, my darlings. Let me just start off first with saying, I love this. I love everything about it. Oh my goodness, if there was ever two concepts that belong together, it was FNAF and Dead by Daylight. They go together like peanut butter and jelly, my darlings. And I'm just saying, if there is ever a time to combine the two franchises, it's now. FNAF is coming up on its 10 year anniversary, my darlings, and I can't think of anything more appropriate than inducting Springtrap. And of course, Michael Afton into the world of Dead by Daylight. Now, my darlings, I do love this, but I do have a few eensy beensy critiques about it. Springtrap's ability feels way too much like Wraith's. You know, he comes out of trespasser mode and he uncloaks and then he lunges forward and smacks his survivor. It's way too Wraithy for my taste. He needs a little something else to make him more unique, my darlings, to give him his own little flavor. As for good old Michael Afton, I like his other perks, but Hello Sensation, my darlings, may prove to be a little eensy beensy bit too unfair to the killer, maybe a little bit too powerful. I mean, it's within character for Michael Afton to turn weaknesses into strengths. The guy's been doing it since he was introduced in the FNAF series. However, in a Dead by Daylight setting, being able to take every single weakness and everything thrown against you and turn it into a speed perk is just a little bit too OP. But I don't know, my darlings. What do you think about this concept for FNAF and Dead by Daylight? Put it down in the comments below, okay? And my darlings, never forget. <gasps> I love you, and I'll see you next time. Bye. And if you'll please drop me a like and subscribe, that'd be great. Thanks.